All right, and the very last thing we're going to do in this um, series here is we're going to look at a couple different uh, query methods here. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a link over here by the status that will either activate or deactivate a, um, a row. So in here, next to the status, we're going to create a link. A href equals we're going to close it and we're going to call this change status and for the URL we're going to say index dot PHP and we're going to send a new variable or a new value to the page and what we're going to do is, actually we're going to send two values. The first value is going to be, is going to tell the page that we're going to change a value. So we're going to call it status change. We're going to say equals one for yes. And the way to put another um, value in the URL is to separate it with a ampersand symbol. And the next value is going to be current status equals and we're simply going to place the value of status in here so we're going to concatenate with a um, single quote dot status dot single quote and that's going to plop the value of our status in there and we'll go ahead and save this and let's come up here and what we're first going to do is we're going to pull the uh, values of those variables or we're going to create a conditional that checks to see if the change status va variable is um, has a value is yes or no so we're going to do if get status change is equal to 1. What we're going to do here is we're going to run a query that will change the status. So first we're going to create a query. So Q equals we're going to use a new command here and we're going to we're going to um, update and we're going to type in the table name, authors. And we're going to say set status equal to. And we're going to toss a variable name in here, which is going to be new status. Where author ID equals and another variable author or author ID um, and then one thing we didn't do down here is we we need to send the author ID to the page as well so we're gonna put another ampersand author ID equals and put in the value for ID. And now when we click this link, it's going to send the author's ID, the current author's ID to the page too. So what we're going to do here is before the query, we're going to retrieve those um, values. So we're going to say author ID is equal to get author ID and the for the status well, we're going to pull the current status current status equals get 
current status. And then we're going to create a conditional if current status is equal to 1, then we're going to make the new status equal to 0. And then else new status is equal to 1. And what that's going to do is uh, we're going to find out what the current status is and then if it's 1 we're going to make the new status 0 so that when we update the authors table it's going to change the status to 0. However if the status the current status was zero then it's going to do the run the else condition and give the new status a value of one so let's go ahead and run the query Give it the database connection and the query. And we're also going to go ahead and send a little message to the uh, page. So we're going to say if r and echo. Status has been changed, and we'll make this a paragraph. So, if this runs correctly, it will spit out a message that says the status has changed. So, let's go ahead and test this. Let's say Control S for save, Control Shift U for upload. Refresh the page. And now we can click on our change status. And if all goes well, the status when the page refreshes will be 1. Now, the reason why um, it showed both records here is because when the page refreshed, um, the filter wasn't there anymore. However, you will see that our status was changed to 1, and our message was uh, spit out to the browser. So one last thing to polish this up is to fix this um, filter situation. So we're going to add one more value to the um, URL, so ampersand, and we're going to call the f name and make it equal to f name so what this will do is send the value of the current um, first name back to the browser and if we say save and upload And let's go ahead and click on Alan. So we only see my record. And we're going to change the status. So the result should be that the status has changed to zero. But we should also only still see my record rather than seeing Brandon's as well. So change status, zero, and our message. And that concludes this tutorial series. Um, look for some more advanced web development topics soon as well as some basic MySQL and PHP um, topics as well. Thank you.